welcome back to my tutorial on uh, pymol so last video we have seen how to define selection of molecules and uh, here's the link above so today we will see how to create a nice crystal packing figure this is a uh, transporter bound, bound to a fab region of an antibody let's hide uh, the phosphate molecule which, go, which we don't need uh, to see in the crystal packing figure so hide spears and then you can save the scene as a uh, scene trans store so which means that even though if you move it around and then you click on trans it's gonna get back to the uh, view that you have set before so now let's generate uh, the symmetry related molecules click on you gotta click on actions and then generate and then symmetry made so let's do it for 100 angstrom okay now all the symmetry related molecules uh, for of uh, 100 angstrom are loaded so let's uh, close the sequences so here uh, you see that uh, so the, the the protein here has been crystallized in the liberty cubic phase and uh, you can see very nicely that the membrane protein is stacked in the lipidic bilayer and uh, the neighboring transporter molecules uh, where the interactions are mediated by the fab bound to each of the transporters so uh, the fab molecules are found on the echos channel where the transporter is very nicely uh, in on the lipidic bilayer so this is uh, type 1 uh, interaction so now we want to show the crystal packing so now we've got to define uh, a view uh, so that to see okay so let's take uh, this particular view for example so let's save the scene scene packing store so now you save uh, this view uh, point now let's assume that all the color uh, was sort of green before now uh, we want to now define selection of the end terminal domain of the transporter c terminal domain of the transporter and the heavy and the light chain separately so now i've changed everything to green now let's maybe set the packing for two different Let's so zoom in a bit. Uh, okay. Probably we don't th need this particular one. So we shall remove that off. So, okay, we'll just hide this. So, so we can go molecule and then hide cartoon and this. say we want to show the packing like this probably you can add and uh, remove uh, the molecules that you want to show and not show and make a nice uh, packing figure so now let's define the selection so let's say you want to so let's define the end term selection so select uh, name of the uh, selection and then say you want to uh, select residue 1 to 204 and chain A so you have to define the chain if you don't define the chain then it's gonna select everything sorry for that so we click on the packing now it's gonna restore and then so now it's selected all the end term and uh, so I already know that the end term it belongs to chain A so I define the end term so, so now I'm gonna sort of color it say lemon okay now uh, you can see very nicely uh, the end term uh, color has changed to lemon now let's uh, define selection for the 
C term select so this is going to override the previous selection that you have already made uh, which was only for one particular molecule if you want to sort of give a different name for the object you can do that so let's say define Z term all and then uh, define residue so it's 205 <coughs> to 400 and so the, the transport is still chain A so to chain A uh, so I think there was a syntax here so you give a space and then now all the C term is selected and so where we, we find the selection probably yeah here it is so is the C term all and now we change so limon so I shall give slate for example okay so the end term is level and the C terminal domain is shaded uh, blue now let's differentiate the light chain and the heavy chain of the fab by different colors so in order to draw to which chain uh, do they belong to so just click over and then you would see all the molecules are defined so, so, so this is the segment identifier here is B and then the chain is H and so as for the other the segment identifier C and no the chain ID is C and the segment identifier is L so so let's do this so close the sequence and then so we're gonna define selection so let's say heavy chain heavy chain all and then chain because now uh, since the uh, chains are have been defined as uh, separately we don't need to really specify the residue number you can leave that out and then just specify only the chain here which would then define the selection for all uh, the heavy chain or the light chain for um, uh, for respect to part of the fast fragment so now it's heavy chain H so so this would select all the heavy chain uh, uh, part of the fab and uh, so okay yeah that's C term and this is M term so uh, let's say I'm gonna give this uh, bright orange okay so now the uh, heavy chain has been changed to orange so the light chain on and then the chain here is chain hatch so chain heavy so chain hell for the okay now the uh, C chain is selected heavy light chain is selected now let us okay do it as raspberry now these combinations are, of colors are quite clear uh, but you can always play around to um, see to which uh, colors go along with each other So now this is selected uh, to raspberry, so I'm gonna tilt it a bit and then Update the scene Scene of the trans and the scene of the packing Here and uh, now you can change the background to white so BG white so this would change uh, the background to white now so now you can see that uh, the packing so now you can still play around to see to see to which in which you view and which molecules remove only this is an odd one so you can remove this molecule out or uh, I just remove atoms so now you see uh, it's a better representation of molecule remote so now you can differentiate the N term C term and probably in order to as you see it's a bit more compact maybe we can reduce the cartoon over length so set cartoon 
proposal line to four point five. You can play around and see which one works. So, so now you see it's like not really good. So we might increase it a bit. So this is 0.7 still doesn't look good. So I'll just put 0.8. So I'll just leave it like that. So doesn't look good. Okay, and uh, you can still play around the car. So maybe this view is a bit, uh, is a bit better. And uh, so I think with this we can array and then export the molecule. So that, this is how you create a crystal packing uh, figure and define selection of uh, different parts of the molecules and color them as you wish. So that I mean, um, it's always uh, it's one stage. Uh, what sort of colors uh, that you want to go with in showing your particular crystal packing figure. So in my case. Uh, I do not go in for really dark colors, I really go in for, you know, sort of um, light colors so that uh, it has a better, um, I mean, uh, so it's, it's a feel good uh, situation uh, when you have a look at the figure. So you got to play around with the colors uh, that sort of really highlights the important parts of the molecule uh, that is of uh, uh, importance. So, with this, I would like to thank you for watching. So, see you in the next video.